50 subscribers away from a thousand. I am so close, so annoyingly close. So if you want to help out with that, I have linked my personal channel and I will love you forever and be your best friend and I don't even know what. Also, I want to do a really fun video to say thanks when I get to a thousand subscribers on my personal channel. So if you have any really fun, ridiculous, crazy ideas, you can leave me suggestions for those in the comments. I have a really fun story to tell you. I was on my way to church this morning and I was on the subway and I could see the old Korean man across from me, you know, looking at me like I want to talk to her because that's, you know, I get that look a lot because I'm white. So I knew that he was about to talk to me. I had my earplugs in. I was kind of looking away because he didn't look like he spoke very good English and those conversations can get really awkward if not funny, which this one ended up being. <laughs> so he said something, but I don't know what he says because I have my earphones in. So I pull it out and I look over at him and he basically just looks at me and he goes, like, Korean, no? And I was like, no, Korean, no. And so then, you know, I look off again thinking, you know, he can't talk to me so he might not say anything. I was wrong. Um, I look over again and he motions up and he makes a sign for a cross and he goes, uh? -huh. And so, you know, it's Sunday morning. I assume he's asking me if I'm a Christian. So I'm like, nay, I'm, yeah, I'm going to church. And then it looks like the conversation's over again. And then I see him motioning again. He has his wallet out and he looks up and he says, money. And I was like, money? <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to tell me. And I just kind of mm, and look away. He gets up, he sits down next to me, he pulls out what, look, what looks like a business card and he hands it to me and he goes, <laughs> I, this one, I have no idea what this man is trying to tell me. He writes out his name in the romanization of the Korean, which, you know, I can read the Korean, I just don't know what it means. Um, and then he draws a picture on it, and I have no, you know, I just, I have no idea what's going on at this point. I was like, what? He said money. He asked me if I was a Christian. He's handing this card and telling me to, like, keep it quiet. I don't know what's going on. So finally I got to church and I asked one of the Korean women what it was. It was the card for a counseling center. <laughs> some old Korean man apparently thought that, the, you know, a foreigner needed some counseling and that he would be able to give it to her. So he gave me his business card, which... I don't know, <laughs> it was it was just hilarious. He obviously can't help me with whatever problems I may or may not have because we don't speak the same language. Living in Korea is fun and bizarre and I love it, but I'm super, super pumped that in five months I will be home. Oh my gosh, it's getting so close. So yeah, I hope that you all have a fantastic week. I wanna know what is the most bizarre thing that has happened to you lately, so tell me about that. I would really love it if you did. I hope you are all having marvelous weeks and continue to do so. And I love you all and I will talk to you later. Bye.